Oh, there's one. Steel here. Oops, forgot my outfit. There we go. Hatred has become really popular lately. One reason hatred is really popular is because, well, we really can't hate anything besides things. We can't hate people because we would look like jerks. Yeah, sure, everybody does a video on someone else on the site for hatred, but they usually get backlash for it. Small backlash. But sometimes it's... It, but it's really depending on the situation whether or not they deserve it. But objects or ideas or experiences can be hated because they can't argue back, obviously. So you can hate them, and the only thing that defends them is other people. Those people are usually ignored in the comments, and this is the point. If your opinion is average or uncertain, your opinion is seen as useless, and is replaced by someone who's completely certain on their ideas. Another reason hatred is just much easier to have an opinion on, because it's a quick, explained emotion. It's certain and fast, so there's no wasted time. Sure, you could have an actual, complicated opinion about how you actually feel average about something, but why do that when hatred could get you more views? This is the problem. Hatred is just an easy, easy to do, and can be abused because we all know of bandwagons that we can just jump onto instead of looking into things and giving an honest opinion. It's especially a problem whenever hatred is targeted towards something popular. Popularity is a strange creature that is always moving forward through topics that usually become controversial. When things that are popular are hated, they tend to stay popular for much longer than things that are liked. Hatred itself becoming popular is a problem because when we simplify our ideals and a sense of rage to gain viewership, we don't challenge our audience to think more, but rather slow down in order to increase its popularity. Hatred is especially popular now with controversial topics every hour to even aggressive pol politics on the uprise. And I get it. We all enjoy these opinions because they're easier to understand and sometimes make us laugh. And I'm not saying play it safe or down with hatred. I'm saying that intelligent, complicated opinions show a better understanding than just outright hatred towards something. Not to mention hatred promotes control over what is being hated. You could have opposing opinions, and that's fine. But when we say hateful words just to shorten our opinion, when clearly sh we should clearly show our passion is, which clearly shows our passion is misplaced. And yeah, you can say you don't care, but when opinions are public, they really reveal sides, and people will slowly fall into their categories. You can hate things, yes, but it really seems like hate is being used as a tool to throw actual arguments out the window. Strong opinions don't have to be hateful, and they can be smart about how they impact your audience. Instead of hatred, instead of hatred. Because at the end of the day, hatred is a choice. It may grow, but its popularity is poisoned by aggressive ideals that only seem to shorten actual opinions.